Have you ever seen two sliders at the big league level and thought, damn, those pitches moved a lot differently? Well, instead of letting pitchers subjectively classify these sliders as they wish, this video is going to break down how you can bend those sliders into more precise movement buckets. What's up guys? My name is Chris Langen and I'm a pitching coordinator here at Driveline Baseball. In this video, we're going to discuss sliders, their different variations, and their movement profiles. If you haven't yet, you should check out our video on movement and spin, which is good for beginners who may not quite understand things like short form movement, vertical break, or horizontal break. We'll be sure to link that in the description below. Assuming you have the basics of spin contextualized, we're good to further discuss the different variations of sliders. As you can see from this visual, they come in all shapes and sizes. Some sliders have more lift than the average cutter, whereas some have more drop than the average curveball. We reclassified all sliders thrown in 2021 based on just their movement profile. The six movement buckets we created were the cutter, slutter, gyro slider, standard slider, sweeper, and slurve. The need for this was discussed in our video on spin and pitch movement. Liberally classifying pitch types as simply a slider, cutter, or curveball doesn't really provide enough relative context. For example, take a look at these sliders by Josh Hader and Aaron Bummer. This edge visualization provides all the additional context needed. In this series, we'd reclassify Hader sliders to be something closer to a standard slider, whereas Bummer, with that big movement, would have his reclassified to be a sweeper or somewhere between that and an efficient slurve. Let's work our way from the top of the movement chart to the bottom, starting with the cutter. Among 2021 classified sliders, about 7% of them came in with movement characteristics that resembled that of a cutter. On average, these pitches were thrown 87 and a half miles per hour and had nearly three times the vertical break, nine, relative to the horizontal. This means most of the active spin on this pitch consisted of backspin. Because the slider variant doesn't drop as much, it must be thrown harder to make up for the lack of downward action it has relative to a pitcher's fastball. That being said, Clayton Kershaw and Robbie Ray have each won Cy Young Awards while featuring this type of slider suggesting it's certainly not a death sentence so long as it is firm and commanded well. At release, the pitcher will be more behind the ball, which gives him or her the ability to impart more velocity to the baseball at the trade-off of increasing backspin and or lift on the pitch. Next up, we'll look at the slutter, which is the middle ground between the standard slider and the cutter. This was a very common slider variant in 2021, with the pitch making up nearly 20% of all classified sliders. On average, these pitches were thrown about 86 and a half miles per hour and had nearly equal vertical and horizontal movement. The trade-off in killing vertical break allows it to be thrown a bit slower relative to the cutter since it will drop more. Several big name pitchers feature this slider, including Jacob deGrom, Edwin Diaz, and Lucas Giolito. At release, the pitch will have more gyroscopic spin relative to a cutter. The biggest differentiator between this pitch and a standard slider at release is that the pitcher will be a bit more behind the ball as opposed to just pulling down on the side of it and slightly around it. The gyro or bullet slider is quite intuitive, with less than 20% of active spin. The gyro was thrown around 15% of the time relative to league-wide classified sliders in 2021. The pitch is thrown just a tick above big league average slider velocity at just about 85 and a half miles per hour. While the pitch has essentially no movement relative to a spinless ball, gravity's roll gives it the depth that needs relative to a heater to be an effective pitch. The pitch still needs to be relatively hard to outweigh its complete lack of glove side action. Luis Castillo, Shane Bieber, and Amir Garrett are examples of pitchers who throw a gyro slider. At release, the pitcher will rip down on the ball, causing it to spin like a bullet. This is where the red dot adage comes from that is distinct with this type of slider. The standard slider still comes equipped with primarily gyro spin, but begins to be influenced by side spin and picks up glove side action as a result. The pitch is the most common of the variants listed in this video. Relative to the gyro, the pitch is thrown about half a tick slower on average and has about five to nine inches of glove side action. It also has, on average, about 150 more RPMs. Dylan Sees, Nate Pearson, and Nathan Eovaldi are all examples of pitchers who throw this. Visually, we can start to see sweep or glove side action being generated due to increased side spin on the offering. The sweeper is generally the most visually appealing of the group and is becoming the next big trend in pitch design. 15% of classified sliders fell into this sweeper category, which means they had at least 11 inches of side spin without significant downward vertical break. 
The sweeper is thrown significantly slower than our other slider variants at just 81 and a half miles per hour. However, it makes up for that loss of velocity with well more than a foot of horizontal brake on average. The average spin was nearly 2600 as well. Caleb Theobar, Shohei Otani, and Walker Buehler are examples of pitchers who make a living with their sweepers. At release, the pitcher will often impart at least 50% of their raw RPM total with nearly all of it being side spin. To do this, the pitcher will be on the side of the ball at release, essentially throwing a sideways curveball. As a caveat, many of these sweepers, such as Caleb Theobar's, come with significant amounts of seam shifted wake. We won't get into that too deeply in this video, but we'll be sure to link some additional resources to learn more. Our final slider variant comes from the curveball family, the slurve. Most slurves come from classified curveballs, though 10% of classified sliders fit this movement profile. On average, a classified slider that landed as a slurve was thrown 82 and a half miles per hour. While the pitch has similar active spin to the sweeper, it isn't as effective of a pitch due to its relative lack of sweep and two-plane movement. While it's often suboptimal for most arsenals, hurdlers such as Tyler Matzik, Chris Sale, and Brandon Woodruff have featured it and had plenty of success with it at the big league level. The most distinguishable difference is that the middle finger gets in front of the ball at release, resulting in much more top spin relative to our other slider variants, along with a proportion of both side spin and gyro spin. As you can see, sliders come in all shapes and sizes. While the sweeper generally grades out the best outcomes wise, the reality is each pitcher is going to be unique in what slider variant works best for them. Pitchers who lack a feel for spinning the ball may be inclined to go with a gyro slider, whereas others may have a lower slot and can easily get around the baseball, meaning sweep comes natural for them. One of the tools we utilize at Driveline Baseball to see how different variants grade for each pitcher depending on their VLO trade-off is the blob, which was developed by current Detroit Tigers baseball analyst Christian Hook. The blob allows us to plug in pitch metrics mainly velocity, vertical break, horizontal break, along with arm angle context, and gives us a rating of how that pitch rates stuff-wise relative to a big league average pitcher. This stuff plus model was developed by Driveline's Director of Baseball Operations, Dan O'Coin. The blob is available for purchase on Driveline Edge, and we'll be sure to link a recent article we made about it in the description below. Appreciate everyone following along today. We'll certainly have more videos breaking down deferring movements of each pitch type, along with a practical video of how to throw a slider coming out very soon. Please feel free to comment and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.